What's up, guys? So I did uh, For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield. Um, Buffalo Springfield kind of sounds like someone's name, but it was actually an American-Canadian rock band, but uh, they were only active from 1966 to 68. Their band, um, the names of their band members were Stephen Stills, Neil Young, and Richie Furry. They released three albums and several singles, but their only like huge hit was actually for what it's worth. The historical context behind this um, song is Stephen Stills was on his way to Hollywood to hear some live music on the Sunset tr Strip. And when he got there, he came across thousands of teenagers who were protesting their new curfew, which was supposed to be um, people under 18 be home by 10 p.m. And they're also protesting uh, a club that had uh, is was going to close down, and so there were thousands of people, teenage, mostly teenagers, in the street. Um, some lyrics that you hear in the song is "young people speaking their minds," a thousand people in the street singing songs and carrying signs. So this immediately you can tell this song is exactly from what he saw that day on the protests, according and. Um, this, the the name of the song doesn't pop up in the song itself. He never says for what it's worth, but according to a legend, one legend still has played it for one of the managers and said to him, let me play you a song for what it's worth. So uh, that's what we think. And, you know, the masterpiece of the song, the, the, cool, the cool thing about the song is his, his voice is super like, it's not so much, it's like, it's like soft, but like also nervous of like what's going on, kind of spooked, you could call it. Uh, the snare drum by uh, Dewey Martin, which who I forgot to mention, he's the drummer. And Neil Young's uh, two note guitar part in the verse uh, really, really made the song legendary. It also made it their only hit, like I said, and it peaked at number seven in the spring of 1967. This is relevant today because we're seeing protests almost every month, and I think all of us can relate to what Stephen Sills saw that day. Thank you, guys. Oh, oh, forgot my discussion question. Um, mine would be, if do you think if Buffalo Springfield stayed, uh, stayed making music for longer, do you think they would have made a ton of more hits and, and been a band up with some of the other great bands? Thanks, guys.